So I'm first going to start by just moisturizing my skin and I'm going to be testing this product out. This is the Joanna Vargas Daily Serum. It's a revitalized and alkalized clarifying serum that restores skin balance and resilience. I haven't tried it so I'm going to test it out and let you guys know how I like it. It says to apply it to um, clean skin. And I'm just going to do a pump. It says two pumps, but I'm just going to apply one. And I'm just going to pat it all over my skin. So I want to create a look inspired by the shirt that I'm wearing. So something with turquoise and a little bit of red. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but we will just go with the flow. So I think I'm going to start off with the eyes because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to take my MAC Pro... Uh, my MAC... Paint, soft ochre paint pod and I'm just going to apply that all over the lids. I'm going to set my paint pod with my Sexy Mama by The Balm. For my transition color, I have a little bit of a taupey color on my shirt. So I'm going to take this shadow and it is Kokomo Cafe by Coastal Scents. And it has a little bit of gray undertones. So now I'm going to go into my Z palette where I have all my Luxie Beauty shadows and I'm going to start with this one right here. It has a little bit of a red undertone and this one is called Bitter. And this is going to go directly onto the crease. Now with the same brush, I'm going to pick up Sienna by Anastasia. This is the lavish palette, but if you don't have this palette, you can just use Sienna on its own. And I'm going to apply that onto the crease just to give a little bit more definition. So now for the fun part, I'm going to take... Um, I think I'm going to take this color right here. This is another of my Luxie Beauty shadows and this one is called Queen of Mean. It is the perfect color. I am going to wet my brush with some setting spray so I can get it super intense. I feel like I, I need a little bit more of a brown color, so I'm going to take Fudge by another Anastasia palette. This is the Shadow Couture palette, and I'm going to apply that to the outer crease. Now I'm just going to do my wing liner with my NYC liquid eyeliner in black. So I apply my lashes and I fill in my eyebrows. I use the ColourPop brow pencil and I think I filled them in a little too dark, not the guy. For my foundation, obviously, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation in Y405 and I'm just going to... Stick this bad boy all over. I know that you guys are probably sick of me using this, but honestly, I just... I can't live without this foundation. I can't. For my concealers, I'm going to use these two by Kevin Aquan. I'm going to start with SX08, which is a... A little bit more of a dark color just to correct underneath my eyes and then I'm going to go in with SX06 just to brighten um, underneath my eyes and this is what it looks like.
So now to set underneath my eyes, I've been using a different powder. I'm going to go in with the MAC um, Studio Fix and NC15. This is totally not my shade, but this is just going to help conceal the sides of my nose to make it look a little bit more narrow. And I know this seems like a lot of steps, but this is really just going to help define my nose and really make it look really small. I'm going to bake a tiny bit with the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Banana. Banana! After I baked for about five minutes, I'm going to dust off all the powder with this Real Techniques, what is this, a blush brush. Because you want your schnosh to look a little bit smaller, I like to dust the powder towards the nose just so I can get that really defined uh, look where I want to hide any of the whiteness of my nose. On to my nose, I'm going to take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I like to take this one right here. So I know it looks scary because it looks really bright underneath here, but we're going to fix that once we have our powder. I'm going to be using the Benefit Chickathon! I'm so excited for this and I tried it on a client's today that I did her makeup. Um, but this retails for $56 and it is so worth it. I just picked it up the other day. I'm going to take Hula and it comes with this little brush and I'm going to chisel out the Zizik bone so we can get a snatched face. Now, I'm going to pick up Dallas, which is a blush, and this just looks absolutely gorgeous. And applying it to the apples of my cheeks. For my highlight, I'm going to take this new Lorac highlighter in the color Twilight. I've been using this nonstop, and I love it. And to finish off this look, I'm going to take Jeffree Star Red Lord Liquid Lipstick in Posh Spice because I really want the attention to be on the eyes. And that is it. This is the end of this shirt inspired look turquoise with red and a whole bunch of highlights i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up that helps me tons when you guys do that and also before you leave if you're not yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye